top story tonight. Another person hit and killed in front of UCF. And tonight, students think a bridge could have saved her life. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Anken. Thanks for staying up late with us. Last year, Orange County commissioners agreed to make Alafaya Trail in front of UCF safer, but the plan did not include a pedestrian bridge over the busy nine lane roadway, as some had suggested. Friday night troopers say 19 year old Alexandria Clark from Orlando was hit while trying to cross that intersection. We're told she was not in a crosswalk and died at the hospital. New 6's Matt Petrillo talked to students and family members of other victims who say this should not keep happening. Well, the family is still in a lot of pain. They didn't want to talk on camera, but off camera, Alexandria Clark's dad told News 6 he still doesn't know exactly what happened in the moments before his daughter was taken from him here on University Boulevard two nights ago. Now many students want to see changes. It's here along University Boulevard. Near Alafaya Trail that has some cars whizzing and students worrying. I don't like crossing the street. You have to basically put your life on the line to try to get across the street. This intersection is where 19 year old Alexandria Clark of Orlando was hit and killed around 10 o'clock Friday night. The Florida Highway Patrol says Clark was not using the crosswalk before a 21 year old man from Merritt Island crashed into her. But Clark is now among several other people in just the past 10 years who died while trying to cross one of a handful of busy intersections near the University of Central Florida. That includes Brooke Dawkins, who was also 19. She took one step and boom, hit by a truck. Dawkins' dad, Chris, says Brooke was killed three years ago while crossing Alafaya Trail. It was rough. It still is rough. And we still cry every day. But Dawkins' death prompted changes. Last year, Orange County and UCF pledged nearly $10 million together on a set of safety improvements like new crosswalks and better lighting on roads. Still, with another life gone, some students think a footbridge over these busy roads would do more to save lives. That would probably be better than try to cross that. I think it'd be so much safer. A new six went to look for those safety improvements, but we couldn't find any. Construction was supposed to have started in the summertime, so we asked a UCF spokesperson when those would be finished. We have not yet heard back. Meanwhile, there are other people like Chris Dawkins who are hoping the speed limit here on University Boulevard is lowered. Right now it stands at 45 miles per hour. In Orange County, at Petrillo, New Six.